video is for Josh Ripkin, or, or Haas Ripkin, sorry. Um, he asked me, I wonder how the Netherlands would fit, you know, in, in other locations. With the island in the north, it has a specific shape. Can you look at it? If you find the time, keep up the good work. I clearly see what you show. Thanks, man. I appreciate that so much, and I appreciate you asking me to do this because um, I actually had been... I didn't even realize I was neglecting this area, and I didn't realize how important this area is to the whole thing that I'm proposing. And, um, yeah, if it was, if you hadn't asked me uh, to do this, I might have... Uh, it might have taken a lot more, you know, a lot more time to find it later on. But what I found <clears throat> is absolutely uh, staggering. And this is probably going to be the most difficult video I've ever had to show or explain. Because what I, what I found is just, it's so complicated, but yet it's, it's obviously how this was made. And um, I wanted to just get right to it because... Uh, there's no, there's no doubting this. Um, thanks again, Haas Ripken. Okay, check this out. Um, according to plate tectonics and, and actually pretty much anybody, uh, this, what I'm going to show you, would be absolutely impossible. But yet, when I do it, check it out. You see this? Watch carefully. You can see that this is a perfect match and if I bring it down forward let's see I want to make sure I get this just right so I'm not lucky it's just that what I'm telling you is the truth. Because how else could I fit all that together? And then look. You can see these lines correlate with it. This is South... This is Central America right here that I'm showing you on top of the area between Antarctica and South America. See how the lines line up? Uh, here? Anywhere, actually? And it's just so easy because it's obviously these made this. Look, that's why it, that's why it is. See, look, you see that? And then if you jump over here, if you move it over here, you can see they line up. This is the same thing that I hap that happens to me when I line these areas up with the Himalayas. The mountains do the same thing. It's like a, it's like a filtering too. You got, um, you've got uh, stuff, uh, matter, I guess, uh, coming through here, and and it's like you know, like a comb. It's it's leaving these lines as it as it flows through. But as like I said, reoccurring patterns they reoccur, and these are the same thing as the Himalayas. They have to be. Is this is the same thing as this? Both of these things are the same thing as the Himalaya Mountains. And um, it's I, it may be hard to believe for some people, but hey, that's the way it is. And um, you know what? Any geologist is welcome, welcome to come prove that that's wrong. Because uh, <clears throat> plate tectonics depends on you to do so if it wants to exist. And there's just no way it can exist anymore. Um, this, is, this is solid, okay? It's solid by anybody's standards. Um, you could say that, oh, well, um, you can't. It's not. It's not accurate because it's uh, Google Earth. Well, it is accurate, or it wouldn't line up like it is. That's a fact. Things don't line up when they're not accurate. So. 
So anyways, you can see how it, <laughs> you can see how it fits in there. Okay. And then it fits da down here because these are reoccurring patterns. They happen over and over again. And they make my job easy. They make the job of the geologist or whoever decides that I'm wrong, it makes their job very uh, difficult, actually. I don't really have to do any work. I already know that they line up. I already know that, see how this is right here? It's reoccurring pattern. Reoccurring patterns, you can't, you really can't argue against them because they're there. If they're there, how can you prove that they're not there? You can't. All you can do is say something stupid and try to and pray that nobody pays attention. But other than that, you you you've got no chance of um, proving this wrong. I mean, that's just the bottom line. It's not that I'm being arrogant or whatever. I'm just telling you the truth. This is the way it is. And and I I want the people that don't think so. If they get upset, that's fine, because uh, you know, go prove go prove me wrong. Then that's all I'm asking. I, it's kind of obvious though that it's not going to happen. And I think that's why some people get so upset because they want me to be wrong, but they realize that hey, there's no way to prove this wrong. All right, check this out. This is this should blow you away. Okay, I, I showed you how this lines up right here and all that, and it's reoccurring patterns. And I, I, I pretty much I know I proved this. Anybody should realize I've got this. Uh, by, by showing you those alignments right here but then you also got them up here because it's reoccurring and you also have it here see you see how that works but here's what's cool now now that I, these two images are over each other I'm gonna bring this one here of the Netherlands now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for reoccurring patterns and I'm going to line them up too. And uh, I know I got some here. Um, okay, if you look at these, the Great Lake or not the Great Lakes, these the seas here, and that that whole mess. Um, if you look at it, it looks like it fits. Okay, there's South America. Uh, notice how it lines up. Okay, wait. Sorry. Um, the lakes, that's right. The seas, I mean. You see that? How, how they line up with the... They kind of go with the, the flow of, the, of South America. Uh, like down here and everywhere. Watch like that but actually like this and um, so I'll leave it right because it kind of does it it goes around like this now let me put that back here um, if I get rid of there you go South America and I, I have uh, just the, the Netherlands area here when I bring it in you can see how it lines up here too, right around here. See that? Okay. And then actually you slide it up a little bit and this fits right in here. Right? But if I follow it, this is the flow by the way, the overspill. If I follow the spill, it lines up right here again. You see that? You saw how perfect I lined the other one with this area, with these mountain peaks or whatever. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's always something. But you see that? This means, that, well, if you knew anything about plate tectonics or anything like that, this means that it's wrong. Um, common sense should tell anybody that this is wrong but what I'm showing you is right what I'm showing you is observable it doesn't matter nothing else matters uh, plate tectonics doesn't prove this wrong <laughs> it doesn't work like that uh, I know some people have made this, that comment but it doesn't work like that plate tectonics is not a settled science and, and it's not a fact 
It's a theory based upon the observations of some, I forget his name, from 104 years ago when they didn't have satellites. And he's observing this from the ground. Well, we have satellites now, and we got accurate ones, like the one I'm using, the images. And I'm sure if he would have saw this, he would not have, uh, he would have changed plate tectonics. He wouldn't have gone with it, I guarantee it. There's no reason why anybody would. This is, this is um, stuff showing you that there, there can't be any plates, because these are sitting on top of each other right here. And that would mean the plates would have to be sitting on top of each other too. And they'd be crossing their barriers, and it does, none of it makes sense. It's it's because it does. When things don't make sense, it's usually because they're wrong, and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, and I can point out to any geologist exactly where it doesn't make sense. And I'm sure they gotta already know this. I I don't, but you know, you gotta do what 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 your boss tells you basically. You know, who whoever gives you the money, you have to go by their rules. And if they don't want the truth out, it doesn't get out. And that's the way I feel about this, because I don't think anybody would have missed this. Look how easy this is to, to show you a, a match. There's one, two, and three. Three areas that line up that can't be argued. Nobody can argue that those don't line up. If you think you can, then do it uh, in, in the comments of this video. So, I mean, and that goes for, to anybody, any troll, any, any professional scientists, it doesn't matter. You and I, we both know that there's no way to argue this. So what are we waiting for? We're just going to continue just uh, letting mainstream science tell us how it's not? I mean, <laughs> it, it's not like the way they say it is. They, they, they're not accurate in any way, shape, or form about anything that they're saying about science. They sound like they are, but they aren't. If you really, I, at least right here, they're not. I guarantee that. Okay, yeah. So I got one, two, three overlays right here. That's three areas that line up. So I want to throw another one in there, and it's called North America. And it looks like it fits right about if I eyeball it right about in here I think right there and then what's cool is to um, then turn off layers and see what else lines up like what it looks like with uh, just two areas at once there let's see okay so yeah see look Let's take a closer look You start to see where things got its shape from really easily actually like I said the overlays will exp they'll tell you the story once you get the order correct and that's the other thing I have to do next is I have to start getting this um, correct you can see this It's weird, like, sometimes I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, I don't, it doesn't line up. or, But then I realize, oh, the, wait, there's more stuff in the background that explains the story better. You know, you got, <laughs> so it looks like a, like, you know, like things are flowing to me. It just, this looks like flow and currents and, that's what it looks like. So, hold on, but then what I can do is, um, get this back over here um, and then see what the other areas look like with instead like uh, add that in there and take one of these out what is this oh yeah this is South America you know that's the other thing is uh, you can see that this is ro rotating um, 
and the same thing happens when um, the Netherlands is in here. Where'd it go? Yeah, here we go. Oops. Okay, so you can see it's hit this thing right here, but also it's rotating too. Let me take a. Not that one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to show. What, what's in the way here? But you can see how this this also goes down here by the way watch oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it rotates in you can tell but still you can also see that the Amazon discharge right here you see how it lines up with the underlying there's a there's obviously there's a, a river here or something and That's how I know it's not uh, erosion that made these rivers. The water obviously is just following the, the lowest part of the land. It's filling in the, the contours and the, all the contours are made by the same thing. The Amazon River Discharge. Does anybody feel like they can argue this right here? That that's a, an alignment? Remember that's just one. There's other ones. They're all over the planet. And then here it goes again, lining up again. See that? Because, uh, yeah, the Amazon River is basically a double uh, image of itself. It, it's just like the Hawaiian Island chains, too. The same thing. It's like you think you're looking at one long thing, but actually you're looking at two things. That, But they're just uh, copies of one another. So the, you're, you really just need to pay attention to half of it to know what's making the land features so and that's what makes it complicated because they 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 line up over and over again see how this right here I keep telling people that uh, the Grand uh, Canyon is like where the main discharge came from right here at the base and you can see how other areas line up too well they're all gonna be rela related to the Grand Canyon because it's part of this little network right here and it just happens to be the deepest gouge they got left behind in North America and uh, that's pretty solid and then look and see that the discharge lines up with other things it, it's gonna continually do that not because that's the way reality works <laughs> like not everything can just line up in here it has to be related or it won't line up here that's the ball. I just don't want people to get confused because I'm going to get people that think that they're they, they're one upping me by like thinking, well, maybe everything does that. Well, it doesn't. I tried. You can try too if you want, but I guarantee you it doesn't. It's just the things that are related are going to line up in in small areas or or bigger areas. It's going to be that way. All right, we'll leave it at this. Uh, uh, um, there's going to be a few more here for um, for uh, Haas Ripken. Um, this is just one part because I I've come across something huge actually because of doing this, and um, I'm not even sure how I'm going to exactly show it all, but uh, I'm going to give it my best shot. So uh, the next video is going to be hopefully even better than this and more awakening. Um, thanks for watching.